In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of the lens. Beginning with an introduction, we will proceed to describe the anatomical characteristics of the lens, focusing on its macroscopic anatomy. Following this, we will explore its nutritional supply. Lastly, we will conclude with the key takeaways from our discussion. The lens is a biconvex structure, characterized by its anterior and posterior surfaces that converge symmetrically at the equator. This unique shape is essential for focusing light onto the retina. The lens is securely encased within a transparent capsule, which is intricately connected to the ciliary body by the zonule of sin, a series of fibrous strands. These connections facilitate the lens's ability to change shape during the process of accommodation, thereby adjusting focus for near and distant vision. Notably, the lens is avascular and non-innovated, features that are crucial for maintaining its transparency and optimal light transmission. Its avascularity prevents the interference of blood vessels with light passage, and the absence of nerves in the lens underscores its singular focus on refracting light without sensory input. The lens comprises three distinct layers, the nucleus at the center, the cortex surrounding the nucleus, and the outermost capsule. The nucleus is the oldest and hardest part, while the cortex is softer and contains newer fibers. The capsule, being the outer layer, serves as a protective barrier and maintains the overall integrity of the lens. One of the most common disorders affecting the lens is cataracts, which is characterized by the complete or partial loss of transparency. This condition leads to the clouding of the lens, significantly impairing vision. The loss of transparency in the lens due to cataracts disrupts the passage of light, leading to blurred vision, and, in severe cases, blindness if left untreated. Concerning the descriptive anatomy of the lens, we will begin with a detailed overview of the lens's weight, dimensions, and other key physical and optical characteristics. The lens weighs approximately 200 mg, highlighting its lightweight nature. The dimensions of the lens are critical in understanding its structure and function within the eye. The lens has an equatorial diameter of 10 mm. This measurement refers to the width of the lens at its widest part, which is around the equator or middle of the lens. This width is vital for the overall size and focusing power of the lens. The anteroposterior diameter of the lens is 4 mm. This dimension measures the distance from the front, anterior, to the back, posterior, of the lens. The anterior radius of curvature is 10 mm. This radius describes the curvature of the lens's front surface. The posterior radius of curvature is smaller, at 6 mm. This measurement pertains to the curvature of the lens's back surface. These dimensions are crucial for understanding the lens's shape and its role in focusing light. During accommodation, the anterior radius of curvature adjusts to 6 mm, and the posterior radius changes to 5.5 mm. This flexibility allows the eye to focus on objects at varying distances. The lens has a refractive index of approximately 1.42, which is indicative of its ability to bend light effectively for proper vision. In air, the lens's power is 21 diopters, while in water, it is 17 diopters. This difference illustrates the influence of the surrounding medium on the lens's refractive power. The elasticity of the lens plays a vital role in accommodation. However, this elasticity tends to decrease with age, leading to a condition known as presbyopia, which is characterized by a reduction in visual acuity, especially for near objects. The anatomical relations of the lens within the eye are essential for its function and positioning. Anteriorly, the lens is oriented towards the anterior chamber of the eye, a space filled with aqueous humor, visible through the pupil, the central opening in the iris. It is positioned immediately behind the posterior surface of the iris. This proximity is crucial as the iris regulates the amount of light that reaches the lens and subsequently aids in controlling how the lens focuses light onto the retina. Posteriorly, the lens is enveloped by the vitreous humor, which occupies the space between the lens and the retina. The vitreous humor provides structural support and helps maintain the spherical shape of the eye. Within this vitreous humor, particularly in the anterior hyaloid region, is Weege's ligament. This ligament forms a circular attachment around the lens's posterior capsule, ensuring its stability and alignment within the eye. Beyond Weege's ligament, there exists a virtual space known as Hanover's Canal. This space, though not a physical structure, represents the potential separation between the lens and the vitreous body. 
Around the lens's equator, it is structurally supported by the zinzonial, a series of fine fibers that extend from the ciliary body. These fibers are crucial for holding the lens in place and play a vital role in the process of accommodation, where the lens changes shape to focus on near or distant objects. The macroscopic anatomy of the lens, comprising the lens capsule and the zonule of sin, is intricately designed. The lens capsule is a specialized, thin, transparent, and highly elastic membrane that entirely surrounds the lens. Its elasticity is crucial for the process of accommodation, allowing the lens to change shape as it focuses light. It exhibits varying thickness, being approximately 4 micrometers at the posterior pole and 13 micrometers at the anterior pole. This difference in thickness is significant for the biomechanical properties of the lens, affecting its ability to change shape and resist intraocular pressure. He capsule is firmly anchored to the ciliary body at its periphery through the zonule of sin. This anchoring is crucial for maintaining the lens's position in the eye. The zonular fibers attach around the equator of the lens, forming the zonular lamella, a structural component that supports the lens and facilitates its movements during accommodation. The zonule of sin, also referred to as the suspensory ligament of the lens, is composed of a complex network of fine, radially arranged fibers. These fibers originate from the ciliary body and radiate outward, converging toward the equator of the lens. Their radial arrangement and tension are vital for the lens's stability and for transmitting forces generated by the ciliary muscles during the accommodation process. The zonule has a unique triangular shape with an external apex. This geometric design is essential for distributing the forces applied to the lens evenly, ensuring balanced and precise adjustments in lens curvature. Within the structure of the zonule lies Petit's canal, a space that plays a role in the intraocular fluid dynamics. This canal, located between the zonular fibers, is involved in the circulation of aqueous humor and contributes to maintaining the eye's internal pressure. The nutritional supply of the lens in the human eye is unique in that it is an exclusively epithelial and avascular structure. This means that it lacks blood vessels, which are typically crucial for supplying nutrients and oxygen in most tissues. Instead, the lens relies on the diffusion of nutrients and oxygen from the surrounding fluids, the aqueous humor in front of the lens and the vitreous humor behind it. These fluids play a critical role in meeting the metabolic needs of the lens. The aqueous humor, in particular, is rich in nutrients and oxygen, and its continuous circulation helps in delivering these essential elements to the lens. The vitreous humor, a gel-like substance filling the space behind the lens, also plays a role in the metabolic support of the lens, although to a lesser extent than the aqueous humor. This process is vital for maintaining the lens's transparency and health. The avascular nature of the lens is also key to its function, as blood vessels could interfere with the passage of light, leading to vision impairment. In summary, the lens is described as a transparent, biconvex structure, located behind the iris, which is crucial for its role in focusing light onto the retina. The lens is primarily attached to the ciliary body by the zonule of sin, also known as the suspensory ligament of the lens. This attachment is essential for maintaining the lens's position in the eye and plays a key role in the process of accommodation. The lens is avascular, meaning it lacks its own blood supply. This characteristic is vital for maintaining its transparency, which is necessary for clear vision. The lens receives its nutritional supply uniquely through diffusion from the surrounding ocular fluids. The ciliary muscle adjusts the shape of the lens during accommodation. As a person ages, the lens's elasticity tends to decrease, making it less flexible. This loss of flexibility impairs the lens's ability to change shape, a condition known as presbyopia, which commonly leads to difficulty in focusing on close objects in older adults. The lens has an optical power of approximately 21 diopters. This measure indicates its ability to bend light rays, which is a crucial aspect of focusing images on the retina for clear vision.